If we're doing this, I would have got Abraham Lincoln hat or something. <sighs> Hey, what's up guys? John here from the REI Contractor Show. Welcome to the next episode of the show. Today we're going to be covering the construction contractor state of the union, what's going on here. It's the uh, third week in July almost. And uh, you know, 2021, we've been going through the pandemic now for over a year and a half. And uh, you know, prices are all back to normal. Contractors are getting cheap again everything is fast and there's no delays and then we woke up from the dream we are sitting here in uh, the third week in july and um, though we're seeing some improvements lumber though three weeks ago was priced at 11 dollars a two by four it still makes keeps me up at night we're down to about eight dollars so obviously there's an improvement there but unfortunately we're seeing still delays in timelines and material shortages across the board. We're seeing prices rise across certain things. Metal just went up. Anything that's petroleum based just went up. There was a MDF shortage, there's a trim shortage. Our local door manufacturer that we order custom doors are not even taking orders right now. Uh, windows went from, we had one company that we were dealing with to get them in three weeks. They're now eight to 10 weeks. The rest of them are 12 to 16 weeks. Um, now, Luckily, due to some uh, resourcefulness in staff members, we've been able to keep up uh, slight delays, but we've been able to resource them. But it is still getting more challenging and it's not quite better yet. Obviously, that's not keeping prices down. Prices are still at an all-time high. The construction industry as a whole has never been this busy across the board worldwide. It is the biggest construction boom that we can ever remember. Hamilton just set a record for completed permit projects, and that's just in our area. Uh, some contractors are booked out for months. Uh, there's a labor shortage. Um, one of a couple of reasons for the labor shortage on the, you know, the lower end labor shortage due to, you know, government programs, it's actually not, it's more cost effective for them to stay home than it is to work. Now, that's a whole different issue we're not going to get into on this show. Uh, and then you get on the high end labor, the middle of the high end labor is the to attract top talent or even decent talent right now, your people are paying top dollar, if not overpaying, and so we're in the same boat. Therefore, you know, that's obviously driving up prices for customers as well. Uh, the shortage isn't helping, the material prices aren't helping, and the demand isn't helping. So we don't expect prices to regulate until late into next year. So if you're planning a renovation project right now, you're gonna have to plan for the expense and have a contingency fund, unfortunately. The, uh, you know, in times like this, it's the scheduling, it's the timelines that kind of get fried. So it takes a lot of work to keep them on timeline, but you have to build in buffers when you're working out your numbers. When you are planning renovation projects, you have to give yourself a contingency fund because things do happen. Um, you know, we work pretty hard at our company to make sure that, you know, there's no overages, but that's a lot of pre-planning in the beginning. But uh, what I'm hearing right now from some our local competitors, which are you know friends of mine, that they're actually having to go back on their homeowners to uh, to meet the, uh, the the shortages and the uh, and the uh, uh, pricing increases. Unfortunately, now I don't believe in that system. I really don't. Uh, therefore, I won't do it. But uh, it's something that you should be discussing with your contractor. What if prices do go up? What's going to happen to your contract? So you can expect it if that's something that they're willing to do. Um, something to have a conversation about for sure. That's if subs, GC, anything. It's going to be a while before this stabilizes. And uh, you know, people. You know, even though we're here, you know, we're we're starting to be able to travel again. You know, we've just gone into uh, opening up here in Ontario. But people aren't fully comfortable yet, so they're still spending their money, their vacation money, and all their plans on their homes, on their projects, buying hot tubs, that kind of stuff, which is you know driving up demand for building products and, and labor and subcontractors. So it's not going to make it any easier for any of us. We're all in the same boat. So you know, short, short and sweet, quick thing is that the only way that's going to make this work is to plan for a little more cost. So you know, when you're running your numbers, you got to plan for a buffer. It's going to take a little bit longer right now, so you have to plan for that. And things could change, so you have to be you know, willing to adapt. When it comes to um, you know, drawings, per building permits, it's, it's not too bad right now, actually. I mean, it's definitely not pre-pandemic speed, but things are getting, cities are getting things done, so that, that's pretty good. The inspections are open, so that's, that's something good. Um, that's, that's basically what's going on in the world right now. 
And now, believe it or not, we actually have it better than most areas. I'm in uh, some mastermind groups in, uh, with, with companies in the southern states that run like roofing and window companies, and they can't buy shingles in the southern states right now. Literally cannot buy shingles. And, you know, they're, they're subject to like hurricanes and tornadoes and stuff like that. So one of the sweet ladies that I know that's, that works at Louisiana down there, you know, are still working on hurricane damage from last year because of product delays. Some of the companies I know are booking 30 to 40 weeks out for work. So, you know, here, you know, we're not in that bad of shape. We, we, we can get products. It's just sometimes might be longer. Uh, you know, when it comes to voluntary construction projects, you know, just putting up home, it might be worth waiting until next year. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your thing, but I bet you you can, you know, get things planned out and get a lot more for your buck than you will this year. Um, yeah, so guys, that's it for this part, the State of the Union. Let me know what you'd like to talk about on the next videos. We're going to be shooting quite a bit of these lately. We're going to make them short and sweet and to the point. If there's any guests you'd like on, let me know. Well, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you're more interested about the nitty gritty work, about seeing the details about construction, go to our YouTube, our Blackjack YouTube channel or website. If there's something you'd like to know more about uh, duplex conversions or flips or triplexes, let us know and we'll definitely cover them. This season, we're going to focus on some contractor issues. So thanks a lot again.